Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Download. I'm your host, Dr. Darrell R. Pulley. This is the day the Lord has made. We are rejoicing, and we are glad in it. If this is your first time watching the Daily Download, like, follow, and share the Dr. Darrell R. Pulley page so that you can get notifications of when we're on the air. And if you're one of our regular students of true kingdom citizens, invite someone right now to watch live with you the Daily download. Invite a family member, a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker, a classmate, a church member, and say, I'm looking at the Daily Download. Join me today with Dr. Gerard Pulley for the Daily Download. We're just so excited to be with you today because we know the Lord daily loads us with his benefits. I'm telling you today, it's already loaded. It is already jam-packed with the lessons and the blessings of God. And my heart and my mind are open and receptive to divine unlimited ideas. And I pray that your heart and your mind is open to all the good that God has for you today. I'm excited, it's a little windy here in Florida. We got winds going all around, so we're in a different set today. But God is good and all things are working together for our good because we love God and we are the call according to God's purpose. So we're dealing with the soul, we're dealing with lifting up our soul uh, to the I am of our being. I lift up all aspects of my soul to the I am of my being and that's how I win, that's how I manifest victory in every area of my life. I lift up my mind, my thoughts to the I am of my being. I lift up my heart, my feelings, my emotions to the I am of my being. I lift up my will, my decision making to the I am of my being. And this month of October, we're lifting up our intellect. We're lifting up our intelligence to the I am of our being. Yes, we are lifting it up to God so that we can live our best lives and be our best selves. We are just full of gratitude and appreciation that God has given each one of us intellect. That's right, I let you know yesterday that you are not dumb. That's right, I did that, that now I'll work with you. I don't care who called you dumb. We looked at yesterday, finding out that you are not dumb. Dumb. That's why I say it. I'm not dumb. I am not dumb because I am made in the image and likeness of God. So yesterday we let you know that I am that I am is all intelligence. God, Jehovah, Yahweh, the I am that I am is all intelligence. Therefore, you are intelligent. Don't be afraid to say that I am intelligent. And we also let you know yesterday that it's not a question. Intelligence has to deal with our intellect, has to deal with a part of it that's about learning and processing information. That it's not about whether or not you can learn, it's about how you will learn. That's right, you are intelligent. You know what I got to tell you today? You are not stupid. That's right, do that denial work. Cast down those vain imaginations, any erroneous idea, any limiting belief, any faulty perception that would make Make you think that you're stupid, I am not stupid. And there's a difference between being dumb, dumb has to deal with your ability to learn the information, and stupid has to deal with once you learn the information, what you're able to do with it. So you're not dumb because you're able to learn. It's not a matter of can you learn, it's a matter of how you learn. And also you're not stupid because you know what to do with the information once you receive it. You know how to apply the information to your life. Our scripture for today is James 1 and 5. And the scripture says if any person lack wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all people liberally and does not you know, stingy, does not get stingy with it, upbraid if not, but liberally gives it out to all people. And so today we're looking at again that denial work, I am not stupid, there's nothing stupid about me, and no matter who called you stupid, they were lying. The truth is that you are intelligent. Come on up front with me again, I am intelligent. So pulley point number one today, now remember that dealing with the fact that you're not stupid has to deal with the fact that you are able to process the information. Now, based upon your individuality, which means that you are a unique individual expression of God, you are unrepeatable uh, expression of God, you are undeniable child of God, that based upon your individuality, the individuality, your incarnation, the part of God that you represent, it determines 
um, and also not only your uh, individuality, but also your purpose. God has a purpose and a plan for your life. God says, I know the thoughts that I think concerning you. I know the plans that I have for you, thoughts of good and not of evil, to prosper you, to bless you, and to bring you to unexpected end. So based upon your own individuality, your unique expression of God, based upon your purpose, that which God has called you to do, it determines how you're able to process information. So your ability to process information is based upon who you are as an individual and the purpose that God has for your life determines your ability to process information. And based upon your individuality and your purpose, it determines the information that you're able to process well. And let me tell you, you have information that you process well, that it comes easy for you to process. And we're going to talk about those nine different intelligences later in the week. Uh, but I'm telling you that there is information that you process well. You learn it and you know how to do something with it. You're able to process that information because of your individual uh, purpose and because of who you are, you process certain information well. Pulling point number two. Therefore, based upon that same individuality and purpose, there are things that you do not process well. Everything doesn't come easy to you because you don't need it to come easy to you because it's not a part of your individuality and it's not a part of your purpose. So you don't need that to come easy to you. Everything is not going to come easy to you. All different types of information and processing is not going to be easy for you because it doesn't need to be because it doesn't go with your individuality and it doesn't go with the purpose that God has for your life. So therefore, there's some things, point point number one, that go easy for you, that you process well based upon your individuality and purpose, and then pulley point number two, based upon your individuality, individuality or purpose, there's some things that you don't process so well, all right? But you're not, it's not that you're stupid. It's not that you, uh, that you are stupid. It's that you don't need to process that well because that's not a part of your individuality and it's not a part of your purpose. All right, pulley point number three. So what do intelligent people do? What do intelligent people do? What do people do who know that they are intelligent? What they do is, pulling point number three, is that they are in relationship. I am in relationship with other people to help me process the things that I don't process well. So if something is not your gift, if it's not your talent, if it's not your skill, if it's not your ability, you don't mope and put your lip out and, you know, then degrade yourself by saying I'm stupid, I'm dumb. What you do is you build relationships. You build rapport. You interact with people who are successful at the things that you're not successful at. You interact with people who process the things well that you do not process well. So therefore, it is a calling. It is a calling for you to manifest the intelligence of God. Come on, affirm with me today. I am manifesting the intelligence of God. That's right. Affirm it again. I am manifesting the intelligence of God. I am intelligent. I am not dumb and I am not stupid. I can process information. Some of it I process well, some of it I don't process so well, but when I know that it's not something that's my strong suit, it's not something that comes easily for me, and that means that I build relationships. Because see, if you processed everything well, then you wouldn't need anybody else. If you had it all together within your own being, then there wouldn't be no need for you to have relationship and rapport with other people. But God has set it up so that your path would intersect, that your journey would cross with other people that process some things that you don't process so well, they process them well. So y'all begin to be a benefit to one another. And there's some things that you process well that other people don't process as well. So you come together in the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace and you help one another manifest the glory of God. Let me tell you something. Let's reveal that you are the intelligence of God, that you are made in the image and likeness of God. You are not stupid, but you have things that you process well. So pulling point number one, based upon my individuality and my purpose, there are things that I process well. Pulling point number two, based upon that, there are also things that I do not process so well. And pulling point number three, so what an intelligent person does is I begin to build relationship 
with people who process the things well that I don't process well, and the things that I process well, they may not process well, so that we can balance each other out to manifest the intelligence of God. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being a part of the Daily Download. Remember to share this on your page and let somebody else know you are not stupid. And what intelligent people do, when they don't process something well, they gather other people around them. Family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, classmates, church members to do with them what it is that they don't do so well. And they begin to benefit one another and be a blessing to one another. And so let me tell you today, share this on your page because somebody is feeling stupid today. Somebody is feeling like that they are not the intelligence of God. They've been told that they've been stupid. So we're going to let that be a lie and let them know the truth today by sharing this on your page. Thank you for all those who sow on a regular basis is to the daily download. We appreciate every gift that you give. None is too small, none is too big, and we are grateful for you. And we speak the blessings of God over your life that you will continue to experience increase, abundance, overflow, and more than enough. Well, until tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m., remember, God is doing something wonderful in me, and God is doing something wonderful in you.